everybody. Just two days to go in this week's House of Games, two days before we give away our trophy. And it is literally anyone's trophy this week. It is very, very close indeed. And it's very close between these four people. Will Kirk. <laughs> Edith Bowman. Hi. Fern Brady. And Martin Lewis. Hello, everyone. Hi. Will Kirk. Listen, Cat we smile. love you. The British public love you from the repair shop. And now we love you as a, as a House of Games champion. Spend the whole night adding tools to my new toolbox. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Did the chisel fit? Beautiful. The ch <laughs> my big chisel just fit. The chisel fit. fits. <laughs> exactly. where, am I right? <laughs> but, Edith. Yeah. Now, how close is this weekly leaderboard between the four of you? So you and Fern yet to win, but you keep coming second. And so this is how we stand just two points between everybody. Will and Fern with seven, Edith, you've got eight, and Martin, nine. Surely you're due a win this week. Well, I mean, I either have a strong first half or a strong second half. I'm never consistent. Yeah, That's me in listen, life, really. We put it together. <laughs> OK, we put it together on Thursday or Friday. That's the thing to do. We'll see. Fern, the same. Consistently good, but you've got a win in you. Is today the day? I hope so. I'm finding uh, being at the bottom of the leaderboard unbearable, to be quite honest. Well, I would bottom. say, whoa, whoa, whoa. I would say oh, two things. Bottom. I would say two things. Firstly, you're in joint bronze, mm. okay, which is good. Secondly, I would say if you were two points off the lead on Thursday, you'd be pretty happy about yourself, and you are just two points off the lead. Okay, that's the way to look at it. <laughs> uh, Martin, two wins in a row, then a last place yesterday. Disaster day. But two prizes already: a robe and the dartboard. Let's take a look at today's prizes, shall we? There oh, come is on. the onesie, the yoga mat, the reusable coffee cup, the alarm clock, and the fondue set. Martin, what would you go for? Fondue. I mean, fo I mean, it goes. I mean, that question. what's the question? Yeah, Fern, what would you go for? Uh, definitely the fondue. Fondue as well, Edith. Can't choose. Can't choose. Can't well, choose let's see. Yet. Let's see at the end of the show because okay. you might have to. Will. <laughs> Is that a onesie? It is, yeah. Yeah, probably <laughs> the onesie. You go onesie, of course. <laughs> why? Why? Why if you why win, not? you have to put it on, okay? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Listen, two points between the lot of you. Anybody's game. We've got double points Friday tomorrow as well. Any one of you could walk away with that trophy. Let's find out who it's going to be, shall we, as we play Thursday's House of Games. Round one is. <laughs> King of the Jumble Things on Buzzers, please. Two questions. The answers are anagrams of each other. Thick cloth made by pressing wool. And a Southpaw boxer's favoured hand. Yes, Martin. Left and felt. Left and felt? That's the right answer, Martin. Well done. Nice start. Next two. Buffy the Vampire Slayer TV spin-off. And shape created where two lines join. Yes, Fern. Angel Angle. Angel Angle? Ooh, well done. Good. Absolutely. Well done, Fern. <laughs> Nicely played. Angel and Angle. Next two. What is this? And what is this? Yes, Edith. Plate and... I can't actually see what that is. Uh, and... Time you out. Martin wins the buzzer race. Oh. Plate and petal. Plate and petal is the Can't answer, yes. Plate and petal. <laughs> Here we are next to Country on the Arabian Peninsula with the capital Sanaa. And the person you should keep closer than your friend, according to The Godfather. Yes, Edith. Oh, enemies. Enemy. I've not answered yet. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but you clearly don't. They have a lot of faith in you. Uh, I'm going to time you out, Edith, and Fine. we're going to have a buzzer race. <laughs> Will wins the buzzer race. Sorry, Fern. Enemy and Yemen. Enemy and Yemen. Well played, Will. Enemy and Yemen. Absolutely. Next two. Narrative device which shows a scene that occurred in the past. And rugby players positioned between the forwards and backs. Yes, Edith. Flashback and halfbacks. Flashback and halfbacks? <laughs> Very well played. Here we are next to you. Element with a chemical symbol N. 
and sound made by a mobile phone when an incoming call is received. Yes, that's Will. Ring? Ing? No, incorrect, I'm afraid. Edith. Nitrogen <gasps> incoming. Nitrogen incoming, the incorrect fern. Sorry, you look like a teacher, that's why I keep putting my hand up. Ringtone. And? Nitrogen and ringtone. Nitrogen and ringtone. Absolutely right, well done. Nitrogen and ringtone. Here's your final question in this round. What is this? And 2003 George Clooney film, Intolerable... <gasps> yes, Fern. Cutlery and cruelty. Cutlery and cruelty. Wow. Absolutely right. They're well anagrams. Done. No, cutlery was an anagram. No. Of That's fun. Uh, I say fun. Uh, that is the end of that round. Let's take a look at our first scoreboard of the day. Everybody off the mark, which is what we like to see. Will and Edith with one point each. Martin has two points. We have an early leader, Fern Brady. Three points. Well played, Fern. Well done. Nicely done. It's Thursday going to be Fern Day. Let's find out, shall we, as we play round two, which is... All in the details. A pairs game, the player in last place gets to choose their partner. Will and Edith, you have one point each. Will, I don't think you picked this week. Who would you like to partner up with? That handsome chap down at the end, I think. Playing with Martin, OK. So, uh, Martin and Edith, if you will swap places, please. Martin and Will are a team. We haven't seen this team yet. And Fern and okay. Edith are a team as well. Now, before the show, you filled in some clues. They were all something to do with sport. You are now going to have to <laughs> guess something from the clues that your partner filled in, OK? Will, before the show, Martin had oh. to fill in three clues, and they should lead you to a sports team. So Martin's filled in three clues, getting up to three words to uh, finish off each of these clues. So here are your clues. Their anthem is originally from, according to Martin, Jerry, the pacemakers. That's the three words coming into effect there, isn't it? Yeah. Um, they've won six, according to Martin, FA Cups. And their famous fans include, according to Martin Lewis, Paul McCartney, Will. Which team are we looking for here? I think it could be Liverpool. Is it Liverpool, Martin? It is. It I don't is. know if Paul McCartney well is done. a fan, but it would be pretty obvious. I yeah. think it's the German... Is that You'll Never Walk Alone? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You'll, you'll yeah. Never Walk Alone. It's um, Jerry ann the yeah, pacemakers, Jerry obviously. Okay. Pacemakers, yeah. um, Paul McCartney says he's a fan of both Liverpool and Everton, but I suspect if I was as famous as Paul McCartney, I'd probably have to say <laughs> that as well. Uh, so who knows the truth of that? They won six European Cups, Champions League or, uh, or, or European Cups, and famous fans, I mean, all sorts of them. But uh, McCartney supposedly is as well. But uh, beautifully played, if I might uh, say that's the way to give clues. Fern, for the show, Edith filled in some clues. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Sorry. And, and those you clues... You haven't seen mine. <laughs> ..should hopefully lead you towards a sport. Which sport is this, please? To win a game, a player must, according to Edith, get highest score. Mm. <laughs> More sports. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A famous oh, British player is, come on. according to Edith, not Lady Gaga. <laughs> Interesting. There must be something in that. The main pieces of equipment are a, according to Edith, come on. shuttlecock. Oh, badminton. Badminton. There yes. you go. There you go. Scored 21 points, a famous British player, Nathan Robertson, uh, Gail Ems, all sorts of people. And, yeah, and rackets and shuttlecocks. Uh, Martin, before the show, Will filled in some clues. And those <coughs> clues will lead you to a person. So a sports person, essentially. Sports a person. Here. Yeah. And here are your three clues. She was born in, according to Will, <laughs> England. <laughs> ah, I know who it is. Interesting. <laughs> in 2012, she won Olympic gold in, according to Will, really fast running. And in the 2017 New Year's Honours, she was made a, according to Will, Dame of Running. I'm trying to think of the, the Olympic gold medalists in 2012. I, I think it's not a really fast runner. The person who I think 
fits that is a heptathlete. And I think, it, I think it's Jessica Ennis I'm going for. What is it, Jessica Ennis? Jessica Ennis Hill? Yes, it is. Well played, done. Martin. Nicely worked out. <laughs> Beautifully done. Born in Sheffield, heptathlete, gold medalist, and the 2017 New Year's Honours. She was made a dame. Absolutely. Very, very well played. Edith, before the show, Fern filled in some clues. Oh, no. And they should lead you to a venue, a sports venue. OK. Which I'm sports really sorry. venue? It has more footballs than any other building in the world. Okay. According to Fern. <laughs> what temporarily used it as their home from 2016? Arsenal temporarily used it as their home from 2016, according to Fern. <laughs> and a feature of its architecture includes A, according to Fern, mm. big dome. Oh, OK. Is it what was the Olympic Stadium that is now the London West Ham use it? And I don't, I don't know what the new name for it is, but I think it's... So the, the London Stadium? London Stadium, yeah. The London Stadium? No. I think it's... Could be buzzing. Uh, we don't give it away, but what would you go for? Well, I, I think it's Wembley and that should be Tottenham in the middle and, a, and an arch at the end. Is it Wembley, Fern? Yeah. Yeah, Wembley Stadium. <laughs> is that so? You're right. Yeah. Yep, Spurs used it for Where's the big dome in Wembley? I just uh, made stuff the up. The arch, isn't it? The arch at Wembley. Mm. It doesn't have more footballs than any other building in the world, but it does have more toilets than any other building in the world. Oh. That is the end of that round, the end of our all in the details. So if Edith and Martin, you can swap back places, please. Well done, buddy. And let's take a look at what it has done to Thursday's scoreboard. It's been close all week. It remains close today. Two points between everybody. Edith, two. Will, three. Joint leaders, Martin and Fern, four points each. <laughs> what a close week it's been. Three rounds to go on Thursday's House of Games. Our next round is... Well done if you said <laughs> that at home. This is a round that our viewers help us with. And today's round is about children's books. What we do, we send out the name of some children's books to our viewers. They write down some words they would associate with that book. OK, we will now show you a word cloud of the words they mentioned most often. We'll start with the ones they mentioned the least and the answers will get bigger and bigger and bigger until someone buzzes in and tells us which children's books these are. So with all the clues provided by you at home, which children's book is this, please? Shopping, visit. Thirsty supper. Edith, that's an early buzz. The tiger who came to tea. The tiger who came to tea. It's absolutely right. That was quick. Blimey. You can see the sort of viewers you've got. Anthropomorphic. Yeah, <laughs> very nice. <laughs> very nicely done. Well played, Edith. That's super, super quick. Um, next children's book. Winter. Sledge cave sack. Yes, Edith. I was going to say snowman. The snowman? It's not, I'm afraid. Let's reveal some more clues. Redemption. Yes, Martin. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going on a bear hunt? It's incorrect as well. Let's reveal some more. Just wooden fern left in it. Rhyme. Yes, fern. Rudolph the red nose is straight. Uh, sorry. Um... I'm going to time you out for... Uh, it, uh, the Deccan's so one. Yes, Will. It is the Grinch. Is it the Grinch? Oh. Well done. Whoville. Absolutely right, yeah. How the Grinch stole Christmas. Well done, Will. <laughs> well done, everyone, for buzzing in with you. I need to be green. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't that. that was helpful. Next children's book. Sneaky. Sewing. Recycle. Yes, Will. BFG. Is it the BFG? It's not the BFG. Oh. Let's reveal some more clues. Mice house. Hoarder clock. Yes. Jack and the Beanstalk? Jack and the Beanstalk? It's not. They all sound good so far. Uh, floorboards. Oh. Tiny. Yes, Fern. Cinderella. Is it Cinderella? It is not, I'm oh, afraid. I know what it is. That is everything. That's all the oh, clues, Martin. Oh. It's it's the little people in the house, and they are called the, the, the makers, the um, the um, 
It's not coming. No, I think I know. Is it borrowers? The borrowers. Borrowers was the answer. Well done if you said that at home. <sighs> I was going to be like, the something you would advise against. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, you see, I, I couldn't get the borrowers. It's, I, I had to caution against it. <laughs> <laughs> because of the extortionate um, interest yeah. rate. Yeah. Your next category is... Films. Thank you at home for providing the clues, but what are they clues to? Triangle swearing. <laughs> Funny lawyer, London city. Blonde rain, bottom accent. Yes, Fern. Bridget Jones's diary. Bridget Jones's diary. Mm. Nicely done. <laughs> Very early buzz from Fern there. Point to you. Next film. Dark cat. Dark cat. Oh, no. Woman. Invasion. Heads. Yes, Edith. Alien. Alien. Mm. Well done. That is very quick. Very well done. Yeah, there's a cat's a pet on the ship. Scary space stomach. Final question in this round. Which film is this, please? Wall books. Baseball narrator. Laundering. Freedom, friendship, will. Um, oh, gosh, is that... Um... I might have to time you out. I'm so yeah. sorry. I'll time you out. Burn straight in. Shawshank Redemption. Oh, the Shawshank Redemption. I knew it that was well, 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 well done. Well done. That's the end of that round. Thank you so much for everyone at home. We shall be doing that again, so um, look out for it. Let's take a look at the scores. Two rounds to go. It remains pretty close, although, look oh. at this, everyone is on four, except for Fern Brady on six points. Well played, Fern. <laughs> Just put your nose out in front with two rounds to go. Is it going to be your first win of the week? Let's find out, shall we? Round four today is... <laughs> No I in Ozma. Now, I wonder if you could all stand up, please. We play this round on our feet. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a category, and that is teams that qualified for Euro 2020, the football tournament, but which don't have a G in their name. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go along the line. You're each going to give me an answer. You'll keep giving me answers until you can't, at which point you will sit down, and the last person standing will win a point. Will, we start with you. Spain. Spain. Correct. Edith. Scotland. Scotland. Absolutely. Fern. Denmark. Denmark. Absolutely. Martin. Wales. Wales. It's lovely so far. Back to you, Will. Italy. Italy. I believe they won. Edith. Holland. Holland or Netherlands. Absolutely. Fern. France. France. Oh, this is good so far. Martin. Switzerland. Switzerland. Absolutely. Will, back to you again. Finland. Finland. Very nice. Edith. Croatia. Croatia. This is good. Fern. Poland. Poland. Blimey, we're going to run out. Martin. Czech Republic. Czech Republic. This is beautiful. Will, we're back to you again. Slovakia. Slovakia. Correct. There are only six more possible answers out there. Edith. Sweden. Sweden. <laughs> I've never seen this round played this well. Fern. Iceland. Iceland. Oh, is incorrect. Unlucky Fern. Martin. Ukraine. Ukraine. Is correct. Will. The time you have. Tie me out. Well, if you take a seat, Edith. Turkey. Turkey. Very oh. nice indeed. <laughs> Look at Martin's gutted. <laughs> <laughs> I had turkey. I had turkey. It was sitting there in my list. Oh, where have I missed? That's one of the small. Latvia. Latvia. <laughs> Takes a dive. Unlucky, you win the point, Edith. What? Wow. It can't have been that. I had one. I had oh, I couldn't add enough anymore. What else was left? Austria. Austria. Macedonia and Austria. Wow. Of course. Of course. And 
Russia. Russia. Yeah. Russia, Austria, North Macedonia. Very well done if you said any of those at home. Uh, point to you, Edith. If you'll stand up again, I'll give you a new category. Wow. That was very, very nice. That was done. ridiculous. Surnames of Labour oh. Party leaders. Oh, my gosh. With no letter I, including acting leaders. And we start with you, Edith. Um, Gordon Brown. Brown? <gasps> is correct, Fern. Corbyn. Corbyn? Oh. Is correct, Martin. Starmer. Starmer? <laughs> Will? I can't think of any other Labour leaders. No, nope. you want to sit down? Oh, I think I sit down. Oh, lovely. That's a relax. <laughs> so you can relax. Just relax. Uh, Edith? Heath? Heath? It's a Tory leader, Tory. I'm afraid. Fern? I'm out, sorry. We're less good at this than we are at the football, I think it's safe to say. Martin, by default. Atley. You are a winner, Atley. I'll give you that as well. That's a way to win. Very well done. Let's see what else you could have said for anyone else at home. Adamson, Atley, Barnes, Beckett, Callaghan, Kleins. Uh, Michael Foote, Harriet Harman, Henderson, uh, Lansbury, Ramsay MacDonald. Oh, see, I was just thinking that. And that is it. Those Labour are the Prime answers. Ministers, not yeah, Harriet Harman, specifically was acting, Labour Party it? leaders. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, one final question in this round. Your category is novels by Charles Dickens without a W. And Fern, we start with you. Hard times. Hard times. Well done, Martin. Great expectations. Great expectations. Very good. Well, <laughs> do you want to sit down? <laughs> sit down? Yeah, yeah, there you go. This guy knows how to play the game, knows how to relax. Edith. Can I get away with Oliver? Oh, I wouldn't have thought so, no. That's the musical, I'm afraid. Fern. Oliver Twist. It's got a W in it. It's got a W in it, yeah. And that as well. There we go again, Martin. A win for you. Oh. Don't even have to come up with any more. <laughs> I was going Nicholas Nickleby. Nicholas that was Nickleby. what I was trying to think of. Yeah, there's loads of good answers here. You could have had <gasps> Barnaby Rudge, oh, no, Bleak House, so David, David Copperfield, Copperfield. Copperfield, Zombie and Son, Little, Little Dorrit, Brit. Nicholas oh. Nickleby, our mutual friend, Tom and the Boris. old curiosity shop. Very well done if you said any of those at home. That's the end of that round. We have one round to go on Thursday's House of Games. On Monday, Martin was our champion. Tuesday, Martin was our champion again. Wednesday, Will was our champion. Who is going to be our champion on Thursday? Let's take a look at the scoreboard before our final round. Will, you've got four. Edith, you've got five. Fern and Martin, six points each. Two points in it. It's exactly the same as yesterday. Our final round, of course, is... Answer smash. Fingers on buzzers, please. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. Are we going to have a new champion? Your first category is... Instruments. Those will be the pictures. There'll be a clue above. Smash the clue into the instrument below, please. Which comedy series written by and starring Phoebe Waterbridge also features Olivia Colman and Andrew Scott? Yes, Edith. Flea bag pipe. Flea bag pipes. It's absolutely right. Well played. Flea bag and bag pipes. Flea bag pipes. Next clue, next picture. Which five sided building serves as the headquarters of the US Department of Defense? Yes, Martin. Pentagon. Pentagon? <laughs> absolutely That's well right. done. That's Pentagon right. and gong. Pentagon. Next clue, next picture. In the sitcom Friends, what animal is Marcel? Martin. Mon keyboard. Mon keyboard is correct. Monkey and keyboard. Your next category is football pundits. Uh, Those will be the pictures. There'll be clues above. You're right, Will. Uh, let's take a look at your first one. What does the symbol TM stand for when seen after a brand name? Martin. Trademark Hansen. It's incorrect, I'm afraid. You lose a point. I don't know, I've just realised who it is. Oh, stupid who it is. Anyone? No? Trademark Lawrenson. Trademark and Mark Lawrenson. Next one. Which designer who achieved fame on changing rooms in the 1990s presented the TV series Auction Party in 2011? No one? I'll tell you, it's Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen Hargreaves. 
<clears throat> Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen and Owen Hargreaves. Next category, insects. The insects will be the pitches. Which Dutch city hosted the 2021 Eurovision Song Contest? Yes, Fern. Rotter, Rotterdam fly. <laughs> Rotterdam fly is incorrect, I'm afraid. <laughs> Edith. Rotterdamsel fly. Rotterdamsel fly is the correct answer, Edith. Oh, Very well played. Oh. Rotterdam and oh. damsel fly. Next clue, next insect. Which 1997 song was Blur's second UK number one single? Yes, Fern. Beetle Bumblebee. Beetle Bumblebee? Yes. Is the right answer. Well done. Beetle Bum and Bumblebee. Next clue, next insect. <laughs> well, that was interesting. A lot going on there. Who has won Thursday's House of Games? Martin was our champion on Monday and Tuesday. Will on Wednesday. Who has won Thursday's House of Games? It is a tie. We have a tie break. Edith and Martin, seven points each. What does that mean? <laughs> In a tie break, we play one more answer oh. smash. <laughs> if you buzz in and give me a correct answer, Martin and Edith, you win today's show. If you buzz in and give me an incorrect answer, your opponent wins. Ooh. Oh, man. OK? Pressure. It's going to stay with insects. There'll be a picture of an insect. There'll be a clue above. Buzz in, give me a correct answer. You are a champion. Buzz in, give me an incorrect answer. Your opponent is the champion. Good luck. What US election occurs at the halfway point of a president's time in office? Yes, that is Edith. Midtermite. Is it the midtermite? Well done. Edith Bowman yeah. is our champion, midterm and termite. Very well done. Oh. Very good. Wow, that was tense. How did you hold that together? No idea. Very, very impressive. Edith, you win. Oh, and man. you won yourself a prize as well. Which of this uh, cornucopia would you like to take home with you? I mean, <laughs> it's really hard to choose. It's a good day. It's a good day to win. I might take the reusable flask, to be honest. Fondue! I've got two Look. fondue sets already. I don't need <laughs> wow. a card. You've got two fondue <laughs> yes. sets? Uh, Edith Bowman wins at House of Games reusable coffee cup. <laughs> well done, Edith. Well, we only have one day to go. Should we take a little look at the leaderboards? Tomorrow is double points Friday. There'll be eight points for a win, six for second and so on. And here is the scoreboard going into that. Will, you have eight. Fern, you have nine. Martin and Edith, 12 each. Each of you still within a chance of winning that trophy because there's eight points for a win tomorrow. But Edith and Martin in pole position there with 12 each. It's going to be quite a Friday, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, we get a glass of wine it. whilst we do it. <laughs> that's, a, that's a nice idea. And your, why don't you bring on your reusable coffee? In my reusable coffee. Fit it with wine and, <laughs> and pretend it's coffee. Perfect. Listen, any one of you could win tomorrow. So look forward to it ever so much. I'll see you here, same time, same place. And we'll see you as well, same time, same place, for the final of this week's House of Games. <laughs> Should be sat on the train tonight with that. Guys, guess Goodbye. where I've just been. Yeah, oh, <laughs> lovely.